In this video, I'm going to show you how to access your Arkansas pesticide or pest control exam online. Uh, once you've signed up and gotten your login credentials and actually log into Everpost system, you're going to see a screen that looks substantially similar to this. Uh, the exact name and title of your exam and obviously the exam questions will be different. Uh, in this video, I'll show you three things. I'll show you everything uh, that you need to do before starting to enter the exam. Then I'll show you the second thing will be uh, the proctoring, turning on the proctoring as you get into the test. And then the third thing, I'll show you the actual exam interface and a fictional short five question uh, test. Um, when you're in the system and you've gotten your login credentials and you, you log in, you'll see a screen that looks like this and, and everything is oriented from top to bottom. So you start up here and you would, you would move your way through and ultimately you'll see uh, you know, the exam down towards the bottom. Um, what I'm going to do instead of clicking on these individually, I'm going to open the first one up and I'm basically going to click through and keep clicking next. So what you have to do is you have to click here for the proctoring rules and you have to read these proctoring rules. Uh, this is a test. Don't cheat. Uh, but you should read all of these rules and all of the details associated with them. And when you've done that, uh, you click, I acknowledge that I've read, understood and accept the proctoring rules. And then you click save. And once you've done that, uh, you move on and you click next page. And we're now moving down that page that you saw momentarily. So we're on item number two, technology requirements. Uh, the main technology requirements that you have to take your test on a computer, it can't be a phone or a tablet. You have to use the Google Chrome web browser and you have to use the Proctorio extension to Google Chrome. Um, you should read all of the specific requirements here so you don't end up with a technical issue during your exam that may invalidate your exam attempt, and that can be incredibly frustrating. So take a minute and read those and make sure that the technology you're using satisfies those requirements. And when you do that, acknowledge and click Save, and then move on to the next page. You have your webcam requirements. Uh, in summary, uh, you can read all the text here, but you need to stay on the webcam uh, the entire test. And you're going to have to do a, a room scan of the environment that you're in as you, um, you know, as you head into your as you head into your exam. So you're going to acknowledge um, acknowledge those uh, requirements, click save, and move on to the uh, to the next. Next, there's going to be a vi this video that shows you how the program works. Uh, I'm recording it right now, so I'm going to skip over that. And, uh, and, and here you're going to have an opportunity to install the proctoring extension from a Proctorio. If you see this link, it means that the Proctorio is not installed in your Google Chrome browser. If you don't see this link, it could be because you've taken the exam before on the same computer with the same browser, or if you're sharing a computer with someone else, perhaps they've taken the exam. Um, it takes about 20 seconds. And when I'm done, you'll see this link disappear. So to walk through that, you're going to click this. It's going to open up this page and it's going to show you that I, um, I'm using Google Chrome, so I've satisfied the first requirement. I'm going to click this, and it's going to open up another tab here at the top. And I'm going to click again, and it's going to open up, and it's going to take me to Google's App Store, basically. And I'm going to click this blue button in the top right that says Add to Chrome. And I'm going to give it permission to add the extension. And in a second here, you're going to see a little message pop up on the right that says it's been added to Chrome, and it's going to take me back to where I started. And I'm just going to hit the Back button. And I'm back, and you're going to see that that link that just disappeared there. It's because the system now recognizes that uh, Proctorio has been installed. After your exam, you're going to get your exam results um, from the state seven to ten working days after uh, you submit your exam results. They will be uh, reviewed by uh, by follow-on uh, officials, and once everything has been processed, you'll be contacted with um, with how you did. Once you move through that and you get to the exam itself, this is going to look different for you depending on the number of questions on your exam and how many, how long you have to take it and so forth. But you're going to have the basic outlines of how many questions, um, what you need to pass, and how many minutes the exam itself is. And when I click this, we're going to move on to the second part of this, um, this video, which is where you're going to see how to get into the exam itself by turning on the proctoring. So everything we did now, you can think of it up until now, has been, you've been in the waiting room, and now we're kind of going through and we're getting into the exam environment. The time hasn't started yet. I'm going to go through a series of screens, and you're going to get to see um, how to turn on the proctoring service. And I will tell you once the you'll see the clock appear and you'll see the countdown timer appears. But uh, but at this point, you're still not in the test. And if you needed to, you could still back out. So I'm going to click attempt exam now. 
And I'm going to be warned um, that my webcam is going to be recorded, my video, uh, my screen of my uh, video feed is going to be recorded, my audio environment is going to be recorded, a bunch of uh, things are going to be digitally recorded. You should read all of this and understand what it is. Uh, you know, you're entering a proctored environment is the way to think of it. And if you scroll down the page, you'll notice here, I can't continue. This button is grayed out. It won't let me click on it because I've got a couple of things here in red that I need to do before the system will let me proceed. So the first is that I, I've got other tabs that are open. And so if I click here, it'll close those for me, as you just you can see. Uh, if you had something important open, uh, it'll it'll open them back up when you after you've submitted your exam. So that information is not lost. And I've got multiple displays detected. So I'm going to I'm going to unplug my second monitor and um, and it'll allow me to proceed. So now it's going to um, it's going to allow me to proceed into the test. Um, I'm on battery power and that's okay for this um, this demo video because I'm only going to be in there for a couple of minutes. But if you were taking an actual exam and you're like me and you have a docking station, I would unplug and, and find a way to plug your computer directly into a power source um, without, uh, you know, so you don't have to worry about your battery going out um, in the middle of a, of a couple hour long test. So I'm going to continue on and it's going to check my system. It's going to make sure that my webcam's working, my microphone's working, my internet's working, and the little screen is going to pop up here and it's going to be, the button is grayed out where it says to share. What I have to do is I have to click on this thumbnail. And when I click on that, I'm basically giving permission to share my screen. And now the button turns blue and I click the blue button and I'm allowed to, um, allowed to proceed into the test. I'm still not in the test. Um, it, just yet, the um, but there's going to be a few more screens that I'm going to have to go through. During your exam, you're going to have this little um, this little screen share button show up on the bottom, and um, I I can hide that if I want just to get it out of the way and, and keep my screen from being cluttered, or you can leave it there. It's entirely up to you. As you go to get into your test, now you can see this is me on, on my webcam feed, and it's warning you you're not in the test environment yet, but you're about to be. So go ahead and use the restroom, get water, get comfy, um, you know, do all the things you would need to do before you start your test. And, uh, and you know, you'll uh, you know, do it before the exam starts, because once you're in the environment, you, you shouldn't leave your webcam. So it's going to take pictures of me. I'm going to pause here momentarily while it does that. And now I'm going to hold up an ID. Let me pull up my ID. So I'm going to hold up my ID, and mine is oriented horizontally, that's fine if you have to hold yours, uh, depending on if you have a horizontally or vertically oriented device. Uh, if your image comes out blurry, um, I would recommend retaking it. Your exam results will be held um, if we cannot read your identification. So make sure you have a good picture. You can retake it if you need to. Um, and uh, once you're satisfied that, that, that it's a high quality picture, you can move on to taking your test. Uh, the next thing is, uh, I'm gonna have, this is showing you, you're gonna pick up your webcam or your laptop and you're gonna spin in a 360 degree circle and show your room environment, show what the, what the room is like that you're in and then show your, the desk surface that you're working on. So I'm gonna click and acknowledge that I'm gonna do that. And the very last thing before I'm gonna do before I do that is I'm gonna, I'm gonna type my name and acknowledge that I'm the one who's supposed to be taking my test and you can read the entire agreement above here, acknowledging that um, I'm supposed to enter the exam environment. So now my exam is beginning and I'm gonna be prompted here to uh, do a scan of my room as I as I get into my test and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click start room scan and it's showing you this notional room here so I'm going to click start room scan and now you're going to see the actual room that I'm in and so I'm spinning around I'm taking it slow I'm going to show my workstation I don't have any papers or books out or anything like that I'm going to spin around I'm alone in my room and I'm done and now I'm into the test and so now we're into the third part of this video uh, to show you what this looks like, we've got three, um, uh, we've got a, a few different things in the, in the, the quiz navigation. Uh, the first is that you can zoom in and zoom out with this quiz tools uh, little menu that sits on top of your screen. Uh, you can, if you run into a technical issue during your exam, you can live chat with tech support. And if you, uh, for any questions that have any math you can open up a calculator and do some, uh, you know, basic, uh, you know, calculations using the calculator during the exam. The way the calculator works, if I want to add five plus three, uh, I would do that, and then I would hit enter, and it's going to have five plus three. And I can, uh, it's kind of a, a nifty calculator. I can edit it if I want to change that to five plus six. It'll automatically update the results. Um, you can move the calculator on the screen. You can, you know, you can leave it up if you want. 
um, or you can uh, you can close it out and reopen it when you need it, depending on your exam. And then the last thing I would say is if seeing a video of yourself uh, is distracting or bothers you, you can collapse that and then re-expand it uh, by hitting the collapse button. And when you hover over it, it brings up all of the menus of what you're allowed to do, or you can re-expand the entire um, the entire thing. For the test itself, um, for the interface, you can uh, you can flag questions. And when you flag the question, you've got this navigation bar here on the, the top right. It'll have the number of questions on your exam. So if you freeze water, what do you get? And I'm gonna say trees, but I've decided that I wanna change my answer. So I wanna change it to ice. To change your answer, you just click around and, uh, or you can clear your choice altogether and re-answer it. Um, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna skip question two just to show you what that looks like on the next page. How many days are in a year? There's 365. Uh, two plus two equals four. That's a true false question and caterpillars, uh, caterpillars turn into geese and I'm going to click false. So I've, I've flagged question one and I've skipped question two and I can move on. I'm, if, I'm, if I think I'm ready to submit my exam, I can, I can move on and uh, proceed to the kind of final summary screen. So I'm not actually submitting my exam yet, but I, I can see here, uh, as I showed you, I'd skipped question two and I'd flagged question one. And so uh, I can get jump right back to that question by clicking on the number here on the very left or the number here associated with question two. And, uh, and when I do that, I can, you know, I can answer, uh, I can answer question two. And, and now you'll notice that when I, when I go back, uh, that that gray box is gonna be showing or the, the half a box is gonna be showing with, uh, with gray in it. And I've left question one flagged, that has no bearing on whether or not um, a question is, you know, the score for a question, it's just, if you put an asterisk next to a question on a printed test, you can imagine it as that. I'm making a note to myself to go check that out. So if you wanna uncheck them, great. If you don't, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then uh, throughout your exam, you'll see your timer um, on, the, on the screen. Um, the, the thing with the time is if you run out of time, your exam will auto submit. So you'll still get a score. If you had answered 99 questions out of 100 and, uh, and you missed the last question because it auto submits, there's still a very good chance in that case that you would pass your test. Um, so, uh, but if you if you have time left when you're done answering your questions to the best of your ability, you can uh, and you you don't want to return to the exam itself or you don't want to jump to a specific question. I've already hit finish attempt once. I'm going to have to hit it three times total. So now I'm going to click it a second time, and then I'm going to submit my exam again and I'm going to finish my exam. Now, when I click it this third time, my exam is completely submitted. I can't go back and my results are final. And when that happens, I'll be contacted again, seven to 10 working days later, I'll be contacted by the state with my, with my exam results. And you can see here, the very last thing that I would say is the tabs are reopening that it had closed at the start of the test. And, uh, 